So a few weeks ago when Coinbase raised their fees, how many of you guys were pissed like I was and vowed to find another exchange to move to? Well, that is what this video is all about. I'm going to take a look at all the major exchanges available for US customers with a USD or fiat on ramp and break it all down for you, the fee structure, how it works and how they compare with each other. And at the very end, I'm going to have a table that shows you side by side how all of them compare. So you're in for a great video if you're curious about how the exchanges shake down these days, then all you have to do to learn more is sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. So which exchanges are covered in this video? Like I said, it's for US-based customers with a fiat on-ramp. That's how we're going to filter them down. So Coinbase, of course, Coinbase Pro, Kraken, Gemini, Binance.us, Bittrex, and these fees are accurate at time of recording and they could change at any time, just letting you know. So besides the fees, there are other things you need to consider just a heads up for those of you who are beginners in this space. The ease of use of the exchange, customer support experiences, the different trading volumes and liquidity, and the type of user that you are also can affect which exchange has the lower fees. Like if you're only trading or buy and withdraw only, or if you use small or big amounts, those also change everything. So let's really quickly touch on the type of fees that are out there for exchanges. Deposit fees, of course, and that includes fiat deposits and crypto deposits, which are mostly just network fees, like the amount that you pay the miners to send your coins. Also trading fees, and these can be categorized as maker or taker fees. Withdrawal fees, which are also fiat withdrawals and crypto withdrawals. Also miscellaneous fees, for example, if you want paper copies of your exchange history. And just to note that some exchanges won't charge all of these and they just may have a subset. So it's definitely good to look deeper into the one that you're interested in and see which ones they charge. Finally, a really quick note on taker versus maker. There's a lot of text here. You can pause the video and take a closer look if you're curious, but I'm not going to read from all of it. I'm just going to summarize it for you. Basically, a taker fee is usually more expensive and this is because you're wanting instant execution of your order and you're taking from the order book. So this is usually a market order, but doesn't have to be necessarily. On the other hand, a maker fee is where you're helping to make the order book. You're helping to inject liquidity into the exchange. And by that is you place an order at a set level or a limit per se, and it doesn't necessarily execute. It only executes when people buy or sell and it hits your level. And so that's what you need to know. Takers are usually more expensive fees and makers are usually less expensive fees. And now just a quick note before we dive into the individual exchanges, if you don't mind supporting us by smashing the like button real quick, I'd appreciate that immensely. We're going to dive into each exchange that I listed before and cover their fees, but also at the very end of this video, we'll also have a table with side-by-side -side comparisons of everything we covered, so definitely go take a look at that as well. Coinbase. Deposit, it's free for ACH. Wire transfer, there's $10 and $25 for USD withdrawals. Purchasing and selling or trading fees. There's a spread on the market price, 0.5% plus a base rate, 4%. And this includes a partial digital currency transaction fee waiver. For withdrawal, to another Coinbase wallet, it's free. And to a non-Coinbase wallet, it's just the estimated network fee or the miner's fee. Coinbase Pro, deposit is the same as Coinbase.com. Trading fees, if you're below $10,000 monthly volume, is 0.5% maker and taker. And if you're over 10,000 and Less than 50,000 is 0.35, and it's even lower fees when more than 50K. Crypto withdrawal fees are free according to withdrawalfees.com. Kraken. Deposit is by Fedwire and ACH is $5 charged by Kraken. Your bank may also charge additional fees. Trading fees lower than 50,000 is 0.16% maker and 0.26% taker. Withdrawal fees, there's different amounts for different coins. Rough estimates at time of shooting is roughly $4 for BTC, $0.85 cents for ETH, and $0.05 cents for LTC, and $5 for USDT. Now for Gemini, deposit, it's free for Fedwire and ACH, bank may charge additional fees, trading fees for web and mobile fee schedules, a spread of 0.5% on market price, plus a different amount for orders less than $200, and 1.49% for orders over $200, plus 0.5%. They also have API and active trader fee schedules, which has less for maker and taker and withdrawal fees for different coins, roughly $8 for Bitcoin, 17 cents for Ethereum and 10 cents for Litecoin. 
Just a quick note, if you find this helpful right now, you can subscribe to us, hit that notification bell for similar content, educational content with no frills nor fluff. Moving on to Binance US, a new exchange. Deposit is free like the other ones. Your bank may charge additional fees. Trading fees, 0.1% on Maker and Taker. Withdrawal fees, different amounts, $4 for Bitcoin, $1.70 for Ethereum, and $0.05 for Litecoin. Bittrex does not charge your fees for deposit, but your bank may charge fees. Trading fees, up to 200000 monthly volume, 0.25% Maker or Taker. And withdrawal fees, $4 roughly for Bitcoin, $1.70 for Ethereum, and $0.50 for Litecoin. $1 for USDT. This is the Ethereum-based ERC-20 USDT, just for the record. So here's the ranking you've all been waiting for. And this is the case where you deposit $100 through ACH transfer, buy $100 with a Bitcoin, and withdraw to your own wallet. And these fees are relevant at Bitcoin's price at $8,000. Now it's over that, of course. But it's volatile, so what can I say? So you could just pause this, but basically we rank this for you. Coinbase Pro is the least, and then Kraken is the highest for the total cost to do this whole process with $100. On the other hand, now with $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, fees change a little bit. Now Coinbase Pro is the lowest tied with Binance US, but Coinbase is by far the highest at $45. And so you can see how these rank. We hope this is helpful. This took Adrian quite a bit of time to format this for you. Easy to read. So definitely give him a shout out and thank him for that as well. So which exchange is the best one for you? We've told you about all the fees and the structure. But you need to check if all these fees are still applicable. They do change over time. Determine what type of user you are and which UX you prefer. Also look at customer support reviews. That's also a big thing for exchanges. Look at the coins that are available and which you're most likely to trade in and or withdraw. Also compare costs based on your trading behavior and maybe other metrics that you might value like the privacy, level of KYC, security, and liquidity. Thank you everyone, we hope you enjoyed this video. Always looking to add a lot of value for you, so we hope you can support us. Also check out these other videos right here, and also like, subscribe. This is Kevin, I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you guys next time.